hello if you're watching this then you're probably coming to one of our celebration uh, sessions next week hooray we're looking forward to welcoming you there are a few things that we sometimes do on zoom to help make things work properly so um, I'm just going to run you through them quickly now some of them you will be familiar with probably at least one of them maybe might be new to you so um, first thing you want to do is to go up to the top here with view you want to generally be in gallery view uh, so then you can see everyone who's there on the screen second is um, just to be familiar with how to mute and unmute yourself so to do that you go to the mute and unmute button here so you can mute yourself and you can unmute yourself again so when it's muted there's a red line through and when it's unmuted it's white so generally it's nice if you're unmuted so that then we can hear you and there's a kind of an atmosphere there and we can connect so that's the ideal but if you've got a noisy background or you've got a weird echo on your computer then you can mute yourself until you want to speak and then unmute yourself when you want to speak and on that subject if you are muted it's really nice and even in general because of the audio issues on zoom if there's a larger group then uh, it's nice to communicate visually so you can smile uh, wave do like poor boy's hands you can do little twinkly fingers you can do thumbs up whatever whatever's good for you but if you express yourself like that then that's nice and we sort of know that you we feel like you're there uh, you also have some reaction buttons uh, in the bottom of your screen on a computer at least um, looks like a smiley face and you've got some simple reactions there and if you click on the three dots you've got a whole bunch of other reactions that you can go for um, there so that's gallery and audio and the third thing is knowing how to switch your camera on and off uh, you do that simply by stopping your video in this next button here on the bottom left so if you click on stop video then you get a red line through it and you would be a black square and if you click it again then your camera comes back on and we can see you again so that's that's nice already if you're not involved then if you switch your camera off then it keeps it clear who's involved and there's an extra thing we can use this for, which is to hide non-video participants, which you might be less familiar with, um, which is where my glamorous assistant, Robert, comes in. Thank you, Robert, for helping out. Uh, it's a pleasure. And uh, he's been waiting for his big moment. So Robert's here. Um, notice if I um, help him uh, switch off his video like that, then we have a kind of a black square which is fine but if there were 10 15 people and there's lots of black squares then everybody else gets very small so what we can do to make it look nicer is if you go to the top right of any black square like here there's three little dots and if you click on that you'll see there's an option to hide non-video participants so Robert doesn't have his video on so if I click on that then oh he's disappeared but then equally uh, if I switch my video off then I've disappeared and if I help Robert turn his video back on then oh look he's there but I'm not and equally I could come and join him and switch my video on and then I've come back again so uh, we can use that to make things kind of cool so you've got all those if you ever get bored with that you want to <laughs> unset that you do that by going back up to the view button here click on that and you can do the reverse which is to show non-video participants so if you click that then you'll see the little black boxes again for people who aren't there so that's it that's all you need to know we are looking forward to having you and playing with you and sharing some of the uh, some of the fun we've been cultivating over the last uh, couple of months together. So, um, yeah, look forward to meeting you and welcoming you next week.
Bye.